begin with the latest on today's by-elections here in Korea. Polls have just closed. 15 parliamentary seats are representing constituencies nationwide on the line. Some call it a mini general election as the outcome of today's voting holds great implications not only for the parties but also for the Park Geun-hye administration and for a better look at the expected outcome and the party's reactions. We have Choi Yoo-sun at the News Center and Chi myung gil standing by for us at the National Assembly. Yoo-sun, let's start off with you and start with today's voter turnout. The National Election Commission says as of 7 p.m., the overall turnout stood at 30.4 percent. 30 now, that includes the amount of votes cast during last week's early voting period. 30.4 percent is less than the by-election average of 35.3 percent and is less than the turnout from the two most recent by-elections held in April and October of last year. This, of course, is lower than the 50 percent range turnout in the last June 4th elec local election and the mid-70% turnout recorded in the 2012 presidential election. And the 30% uh, range comes as no surprise as voting day fell on a weekday and at the peak of summer vacation season. Having said that, I should also mention turn the turnout was considered a major determinant in this election as more than half of the constituencies did not clearly support one party over the other. In the past, the ruling party fared better when the turnout was low, while the opposition benefited from a higher turnout. And that's because conservative older voters tend to cast ballots more so than the liberal younger generation voters. And uh, last week's uh, two-day early voting also saw a turnout of nearly 8 percent, was it? Which was the highest level recorded from an early voting period? Right. Uh, the higher-than-expected participation uh, led many to wonder whether that trend would continue on the actual voting day. What's interesting is that the districts had, uh, that had rival candidates neck-and-neck neck in pre-election polls saw a greater turnout, whereas those with a strong party preference had a much lower participation. Participation rate. The highest turnouts were observed in the hotly contested Suncheon Koksang of Cheollanamdo Province and in the Dongjakbi district of Seoul with a turnout of 48 and 43 percent, respectively. That's right. Uh, Suncheon Koksang region is actually particularly more interesting because it's a traditional uh, liberal opposition this time stronghold where President Park Geun-hye's close aide and former press secretary Lee Jung hyun is running a tight race against. Former President No Mi Hyun's aide is Seo Won. Right, and Dongjak B is where the former Seoul mayor candidate Na Gyeong Won is competing against No Wet Chan of the Minor Justice Party. And this is a strategically important constituency. And given that, we saw a dose of political drama, which in the end merged opposition party contenders to run against Na Gyeong Won. And with this merger, it will be very interesting to watch how Na Gyeong Won's support is impacted. And we can expect to see a better picture of which party will claim victory by 10 p.m. tonight and by 11 find out which candidate will take the seat of the most contested constituencies.